You get to choose to be one of those, nigga, I'll be the predator. Easy. I'll be a predator riding on a motherfucking dragon, nigga. I'm unstoppable. A predator riding on a dragon? Nigga, who gon' Nigga drippin' so she tastin'. Before I get to this video, y'all make sure y'all go listen to my music, bro. I know I keep taking days off, but that's only because YouTube isn't my main focus anymore. My main focus is becoming a fucking rock star. Well, I already am a rock star, but it's becoming a rock star even more and more so more and more people know. You feel me? It's going to happen within time. I'm dropping a lot more songs. I'm dropping a song on the 25th. Then I'm dropping a song on the 1st. Then I'm dropping two songs on Valentine's Day. Y'all think I'm playing? The reason why I've been absent is because I've been in the studio a lot, making a lot of songs. Like I just said, I'm dropping four songs within the next, like, three weeks, bro. I'm going fucking hard. Like, y'all gonna see this music shit crazy. But uh, anyway, most of them make the top ten. I love their channel. They have a great channel. This one right here is titled, Top Ten Scary Creatures That Could End the World. That could end the world? How the fuck you gonna end the world? I don't know. We gonna see, though. I'm gonna hop on into it. Let's go. What's up, top ten fam? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another what video. Up? I am finally back, you guys. Where you Fuck been? You I missed you. Yeah. Where you missed me. Now we Where already you know climate change is going to end the world soon enough, and we also know we aren't doing enough to battle it, but I guess we're just going to sweep that under the rug. But aside from global warming, there are a lot of creatures out there that, given the right size and power, could end us all. So with that being said, these are the top ten scary creatures that could end the world. Oh, so there you go. Number ten are Dementors. Now, if you've seen Harry Dementors. Potter, then you already know the journey we're about to embark on. And if you haven't, please get out from the rock you're living under. Like, watch Harry Potter. What are you doing? Harry Potter's but not that good. I watched them all. Relax. A version of the Grim Reaper, but without an actual face. Described as one of the foulest creatures that walk the earth, these creatures literally feed on human happiness, meaning they invoke depression and despair around them. They suck every happy memory, every good feeling, every smile. Dementors. Right are real. What are you Except talking about? You in a never -ending pit of depression wasn't we just bad call them enough, different names. That's negative energy. Soul, That's depression. Like a vegetable. That's sadness. They already exist, baby soulless. girl. And imagine Dementor did that to every single person on Earth. Our world wouldn't thrive. It wouldn't function. We just the mentors already exist. Like I said, they already try to do that. That's why a lot of us battle with depression. A lot of us battle with sadness. Because that negative energy or that entity or that demon, whatever you want to call it, it's trying to, it's trying to bring you your vibration down. making its appearance in Return of the Jedi, this alien monster lives in the cellars of Jabba the Hutt's palace, and Jabba basically uses it for viewing pleasure. Whoever he wants to kill or so watch good. fight a losing battle, he just shoves them in the cellar and watches the battle take place. Mm -hmm. But this beast is disgusting. It's absolutely massive, around five meters tall. If Luke killed it, I can kill it. Hands. It's almost got protective shoulder yeah. pads built into its skin. It's drooling all over the place, and it's mouth could probably swallow me whole and did i mention it's immune to firepower and only one person ever managed to kill it and that Luke was none Skywalker. other than master luke skywalker if luke can and do I it i can do it i'm not blessed with the force so i definitely could not go up against this thing if luke did it i can do it goza now goza is the main villain in the ghostbusters franchise and it is the super powerful ancient entity that was summoned to new york city to destroy the world its earliest mm. known appearance was apparently in mesopotamia back in 6000 bc and it's said to be the most powerful entity the Ghostbusters have ever faced. It can literally do everything, you guys. It can shape shift, dimensional mm. travel, oh, become shit. invisible, pyrokinesis, weather control, telepathy, etc. Like it's entering the Earth increases paranormal activity a thousandfold. It only has a limited time on Earth, though, so I mean, that would be our only saving grace. But even if the whole world went up against this creature with all those powers, I really don't think we'd stand a chance. Can you do any of those things? Didn't think so. Sit down. The last <laughs> is Pyramid Head. So this creature right, comes from the Silent Hill franchise, <laughs> and he is a lot to deal with. Looks wise, he's extremely strong. He was a huge triangular helmet that hides his face, hence the name. And on top of that, he can't speak. The entity is shirtless and wears a bloody skirt, to put it in layman terms. Now, Pyramid Head is more <laughs> of a monster than an entity. There seems to be more than one of them alive, meaning they're most likely a species of some kind. And their sole purpose is to deliver punishment and execute any and 
evil, sinful humans, which maybe we need in the world. I don't know, eradicating all the bad people doesn't sound too terrible, but then again, I feel like everyone's sin, so like... Are we all going? I feel like that's the case. Right? It's weapon of choice is the great knife, which is basically a gigantic machete, and like, I mean, need I say more? The yeah, man with so many of them running around the earth, like, we'd all be dead very shortly. Let's be real. Now, at number six is The Thing. Now, this extraterrestrial life form shows up in the 1982 sci-fi horror film The Thing. The Thing is a parasitic extraterrestrial that not only I mean, assimilates with other organisms, it, it also though. imitates them to a T. So, in that the regard, fuck? it could be The Thing, you could be The Thing, producer Chris could be The Thing, we don't really know. This creature has apparently been all over the galaxy, and when The Thing takes you over, you have no idea it's even happening. So, not only does no one around you know you're The Thing, now you don't either can you imagine how dangerous that would be imagine they assimilated a president or a top tier security professional like nothing and no one would be safe Coming in and then five are crazy. dragons. And I mean on a large scale, this is one of the most obvious creatures I could have put on this list. Now you've seen the kind of havoc they can wreak. Ah, I mean, fuck me. If dragons were real, I'd be a dragon fucking tamer, nigga. I'll have my own dragon, 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 dragon bitch. dragons did exist and they were controlled by the wrong people or had ventures going through their veins themselves, how long would it actually take them to destroy the planet? Not long, my friends. Not long. Not long and I'll be riding the master so dragon, blowing fire on Everybody. <laughs> Let me stop. What am I talking about? I love to get high and just think differently. Someone do the maths. At number four are crawlers. Now, I for one have never gone cave exploring or have actually been in a network of caves. But after this, I'm not sure I'd ever want to yeah, either. Appearing in the 2005 adventure horror film The Descent, we have crawlers. These pale white humanoid creatures are horrific to look at for lack of better terms. They're hairless, wrinkly, and slimy, have elf-like ears, and pointy ass teeth. And you guys already know pointy ass teeth are just a hard no from me. I can't even. Eamon doesn't do pointy. <laughs> TT, we've already established I this. fucking love now, her, bro. No, now let me run I love the skills that they have to take us down. A, they can see in the dark, they're extremely fast, mm. and they can use any environment to their advantage, and can climb any surface, as in they're probably right above me on the ceiling as we speak. Now they are rip your head right off your neck level strong, which is something yeah. I'm just not ready to go up against. I feel so like they no way stronger than us? ready to go up against that. Maybe I mean tanks and army machinery can take them down but i certainly can't i am but a mere mortal you guys Final and a three slot are cena bite now seen in the hellraiser franchise aside from being some of the oh, ugliest extra dimensional beings you will ever see these entities were all mutilated and brainwashed in hell to torture humans for the rest of time these monsters came from a religious sect in hell called the order of the gash and they all used to be human at one point but there is nothing human about them you guys believe me they have a complete lack of empathy to us their victims, it's almost a disease of indifference. Cenobites themselves can endure excruciating pain via torture that transcends the laws of physics. They possess super strength and low key look with the BDSM fetish of your dreams. They're impatient, they're stern, and the only thing they're devoted to is their duty, which is to kill us. So, I mean, efficiency is there. The ugliest one, in my opinion, is the Chatra, and honestly, its face is just terrifying. Oh. Its mouth is held open with three hooks and wires on each side, which just connect to the back of its head. The character looks like an advanced Voldemort with blood slits for eyes and a more textured head. I hope you guys got what I'm trying to depict there. Yeah, that's that's a lovely, man. Predator. From the Predator, the predator franchise, this fucking beast. species literally hunts other species for sport for fun. Their life revolves around hunting and stalking dangerous life forms. The and Predator is a fucking beast, the nigga. Have they not? That thing is they ugly, are. but they are fucking beasts. They're humans and have long appendages on their head that kind of look like dreadlocks. They're so resilient to damage that they can fully recover from multiple gunshot wounds and be exposed to lethal radiation doses that would otherwise kill a human. Their pain tolerance is unparalleled, and because of their anthropod like limbs, they can climb and move extremely far. That's it, is oh, a and did I mention they have infrared vision? When they finally make their kill, they decapitate or skin the carcass and make it into a trophy. Like, if this creature had a motto, it would be murder, speed, agility, unbeatability. Exactly! That shit is tight, nigga! 
And finally, at number one is Cthulhu. Now, this creature is actually the that. worst of the worst, the most evil of the evil. It was created by infamous writer H.P. Lovecraft. Looks wise, this cosmic creature looks like a spin off of the Kraken. He's a mix of an octopus, dragon, and human. He's got these tentacles coming out of his face, dragon wings, claws that could rip you apart entirely. He's got scaly skin. Oh, and he's hundreds of meters tall, so there's that. Cthulhu was first introduced in the 1926 short story, The Call of Cthulhu. And he's basically hibernating inside this underwater city in the South Pacific. It's said that he was imprisoned because he's the biggest source of anxiety for mankind on a subconscious level. It's said that oh, he will return when his followers chant a specific phrase, and when he does, it is over for us all. He has the power to make anyone that looks at him go insane. He's basically half god and can't be killed unless you're a near omnipotent power yourself. Because of his vast mm. intelligence, he knows every single thing happening in the world at once and can telepathically communicate with every single person alive. What am I losing? To control everyone's minds. Am I being controlled oh. by Cthulhu right now? Probably. Nobody knows. <sighs> And that's hey man, great video for most amazing top 10. Like I said, I really love their channel. They always have great videos. Thank y'all so much for requesting. And one of the homies was like, hey, Brandon, do another scary video. There you go. Top 10 scariest monsters that will ruin us all, bitch. If you get to choose to be one of those, nigga, I'll be the predator. Easy. I'll be a predator riding on a motherfucking dragon, nigga. I'm unstoppable. A predator riding on a dragon? Nigga, who gonna kill me? Who gonna kill me? I'll wait. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.